Phew. 2020 was tough for us all. Throughout this time, it sometimes felt like we hit a wall. But despite it all, we remember the joys we could collect. And so my friends are here to try some happiness project. Persona 5 showed how all the phantom thieves can work it. Spending Valentine's Day with Yuji was so well worth it. Kingdom Hearts 3 gave such a Disney classic fix. From Frozen, Toy Story, Monsters, Inc. to Big Hero 6. Greedful gave our Vosco happy ending scene where we cannot forget our beloved Kurt or our cousin Constantine. Kiwi paired on Morning Dew Farms as we pursued Jason. When Hark's mother-in-law walked in on us, the awkwardness did hasten. Camp Buddy was an impressive game with high quality art. Hiro went up the Teitaro. The love just warms the heart. We returned back to Borderlands 2, not the least bit wary, to help Commander Lilith and her gang fight for Sanctuary. In Borderlands 3, Zane was set with Vault Hunter attitudes. For we all know just how much Hark loves them Irish dudes. Final Fantasy VII Remake was utterly fantastic. That honeybee end scene with Cloud will now and forever be classic. Reese, Hawkeye, and Angela join up in the Trials of Mana in this reboot of the classic JRPG Nirvana. Allison and Tyler search for clues about their past. Tell me why Star's a trans character, which hopefully won't be the last. We reunite with Damien for the Seduce Me mini-episodes. From beach to holiday to wedding bells, we truly love it loads. We also return to roommates, but this time playing Anne, to finally buy for Dominic, whom Hark became a fan. And finally back to Camp Buddy, t'was Taiga we tried to tame. Angel can't wait for Yoshinori in the following spin-off game. In Dark Pictures Little Hope, can Hark and Shay survive while trying to keep their favorites, Daniel and Alex, alive? Cyberpunk 2077, a huge game of the year. The biggest question on Hark's mind is who to romance here? Luke, Albion, Rox, and Juan became the Zodiac Pros as the Wizarding World Circle of Fate comes to a close. Daritham, Pasha, Russo, Leon, and Tyrion refuse to plead, as Dragon Age Ascension marks the end of the trilogy. Hark's husband Colin binged Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which he loved so much that they both do a let's talk later. Brody turned one this year, his first birthday ever. So much to look forward to as he grows. That kid is very clever. COVID-19, it rocked the world. It hit us extra hard. But perhaps some games provide escape and keep us all unmarred? We thank all essential workers for all they have endured to keep the world chugging along till this virus is finally cured. We know this year the holiday season isn't quite the same. Fingers crossed it somehow keeps your spirits high aflame. May your family stay safe and warm. Find things that bring you joy. We hope next year this all becomes a distant memory. Oi. Farewell 2020 as we dump you down the gutter. Happy holidays to everyone.
I'm not seeing this.